Hey, what's up everybody? BDL44 coming at you another video. All right, so congratulations to Jock Vaughn, who's going to be the next head coach of the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, it was rumored that the Brooklyn Nets were going to hire Emma Udoka, but there were also rumors that pressure was placed on them and to not do so, and therefore we're here. I don't know how true any of that is, but yeah, nevertheless, here we are. Uh, Jock Vaughn's going to be the coach of the Nets. I, I don't I don't really know a whole lot about Jock Vaughn's coaching style, or say, should I say remember. I do remember that he was a coach, but mm, don't remember how he did or, or what have you. But um, this is a situation where, you know, it's good to see a black coach get an opportunity, of course. I want to put that out there for sure. And hopefully he gets an opportunity to coach a team that doesn't have a win now demand on it with this particular roster. Um I, I do think that the Nets need to kind of reset their timeline, kind of go youth, uh, kind of build a team that kind of caters to what it is that they have in place with, with Claxton as he's starting to ascend into a real starter out there. Um, I'm not saying build around him, but complement him with pieces that ultimately fit a timeline that he's a part of. I think that's probably the way to go. Um, <clears throat> move on from KD, move on from Kyrie, move on from Ben Simmons, um, and let Jock Vaughn coach a young team that's what I think is probably a better way to go even though I don't think he's a rookie coach uh, at the end of the day uh, the Nets need to reset their situation if you ask me now I've been saying it the whole time and I'm not going to change my tune there uh, so you know as far as what he can do for their team it just it's all about what the players are ultimately going to um, be able to do with one another I think that the, they basically didn't have an offense being run from what I understand listening to people who are fans and people talk about the team they didn't really run a very consistent offense they didn't really have a whole lot going on it played to the strength of players like Ben Simmons so I guess putting the ball in Ben Simmons hands with the intent of allowing him to make plays for others when he's on the floor might be a way to go uh, maybe Jock Vaughn has a plan for that uh, but you know I think that the, the Nets need to be making moves behind the scenes try to get some talent on the on their bench to kind of boost what it is that they overall have so they can be a more competitive team or blow it up like I think it makes the most sense to try to get as many picks as they can for Kevin Durant um, and trade Kyrie Irving if at all possible but at this point I don't believe that they're going to be able to do that uh, I think that they, they've effectively uh, helped ruin his value and I don't think that it helped their team to do that uh, but I don't think Joe Sy has been doing a whole lot to help his team as of late so um, that's just my opinion. And I think the evidence shows that my opinion is legit. So it is what it is, man. I'm just going to put that out there. I just don't like any of the moves that they're making, but I'm not going to add Jack Vaughn's hiring to that because I'm just ignorant. I don't really know of Jack Vaughn like that as a coach. Uh, I do remember him as a player. He used to play for Orlando Magic. Real good role player. Gave us a lot of trouble <laughs> when, when I would watch my Lakers and Kobe and Shaq and those guys. He was one of those role players that would play well against us a lot of the time. So I do remember him as a player uh so you know it's congratulations once again to him I'm, I'm happy for him and excited for his opportunity here um i just know that he's not really necessarily set up to, to be successful in his first um in this year i guess you could say so hopefully they don't blame him for not being able to overcome what's coming which is going to be a real tough schedule ahead with a lot of good eastern conference teams um and probably the departure of Kevin Durant. I, I can totally see Kevin Durant um, wanting out very soon. It doesn't make any sense for him to want to be there. Ky with Kyrie's value now completely out the window. And uh, Ben Simmons' value in the toilet. It's nothing they can do but trade him to get to get to just become decent, basically. They're waiting on Seth Curry and they can just run it back with this team. But at the end of the day, they're not going to want to resign Kyrie Irving based on everything that's going on right now. So it's inevitable that his value is going to just disappear. You know, just disappear. No one's going to take him now. And the Lakers aren't trading for him. Uh, you know, they should have traded for him, for those two picks in regards to getting uh, those uh, and sending him to L.A. Uh, when they had an opportunity to, but they were stubborn. Now here we are. So I guess the intention was to hire Emma Udoka. Um I thought it was probably a bad idea based on what I think he needs right now, which is time away to continue to work on whatever, however. And then from there, maybe he can find his way back to Boston 
for which he will be coaching a real good team that he knows that he's already got everything set up for him to come back to. That's the coaching situation he should want to come back to, not rushing back on the floor. Uh, but, however, a lot of people don't think he's going back to Boston, which I have teethered back and forth thinking he probably won't return there. But at the end of the day, if he is to return to basketball, he should definitely want his old roster is what I'm saying. So, yeah, not not with the Nets trotting out there. He swept out of the first round. No, 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 no. <laughs> so that's one of those situations where I just think it's ultimately good for everybody. The Nets should not have wanted Emi Udoka. You don't bring him into this mix at all. And I don't think Emi Udoka should have wanted to come back to, to coaching this soon. And, of course, the peanut gallery is upset that Emi Udoka is getting his uh, job <laughs> because they have their own agenda about this. And so it is what it is. I'm sure they're very happy that he didn't get the next job and that Doc Vaughn is in there. It's, it's best for everybody at the end of the day. We, I don't think I'm going to disagree with that. So that's how I feel about the situation, man. Um, keep our eyes open on Kyrie Irving. Of course, they're going to try to trade him now, I think, if they got any sense. If they have any sense at all, they will try to trade Kyrie Irving and will fail to trade Kyrie Irving. That's what I expect to see have happen there. Um, and there's so much attention pointed at the Brooklyn Nets right now because of how, how Kyrie Irving's been handled um, that I don't know if basketball is on anybody's mind in Brooklyn other than the players um, and how best to handle that. Uh, I don't know. I Like, to be honest with you, as I look at the Nets, I just say everything that they've done so far in regards to the media and handling these things from a PR standpoint has been so ill-advised. So I'm just waiting for the next mistake, more so than um, expecting anything other than that. They've just done everything wrong. Everything. <laughs> everything wrong. And um, I'm just curious to see. To, I'm curious to know what's really going on with that team, to be honest with you. I'm curious to know what's really going on behind the curtain because it's a lot to wonder about at this point. Uh, they, they they have had a lot of questionable things happen. They've taken some questionable stances. They've done some. There's just some a lot of weird stuff. The correlation between them and the and the media and how the media props them up, despite having a bad team that you can clearly see on paper beforehand. It was just a lot of weird conspiracy stuff with that team, in my opinion. And you can go check out the many many videos that I've had uh, over the last year talking about them. There's been a lot. So, it is what it is, man. Hopefully, Jock Vaughn has a better tenure than most of the last couple of coaches. Um, you know what I mean? Hopefully. But uh, I, I would not uh, hold out high hopes for, for the short term. It's going to suck for a little while. This is what it is. BDL44, I thank you all for watching. I'm out.